And it's a project organizers say could help homeless veterans get off the streets and into stable jobs. Pete Zervakis reports from Racine on the tiny effort with big goals. The coach is going to go right here. It's just 128 square feet, but it'll have most of the comforts of home when finished. A bunk for sleeping on. It's called a tiny house. Jeff Gustin of Veterans Outreach Wisconsin says it's about 80% finished. We're getting phone calls on a weekly basis of veterans that are homeless looking for a place to go. That's why he's building this home and plans to construct more like it. His organization envisions a small village where homeless veterans can move in. Gustin says while the homes are small, they're not a short-term fix. Veterans can stay for up to two years. This is a project that actually helps with the transitional veterans that are moving in certain areas and not really settling down somewhere, but they're, but they're homeless. The mayor says while vets are housed here, they'll be paired up with resources like financial advice, stable employment, and help accessing their benefits. Eventually, they're supposed to move out into a place of their own. They've served our country, now it's our time to serve them. Gustin says each house costs about $5,000 to build. The bulk of the labor and materials are donated. The hope is to have five tiny houses built, along with a common area housing a cafeteria and showers by this winter. Nobody should be homeless in our country, especially not somebody that put on a uniform to defend our country. Gustin says the project is not a handout, just a hand up to those who've earned it. In Racine, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4. Veterans Outreach hopes the project will have 15 houses when it's all said and done. Still working on buying a lot in Racine's downtown area to build on. Total cost for the whole thing, $125,000, all funded by donations.